Hello my lovelies and welcome back to the heart of my home. My name's G, I'm a naturopath and a nutritionist and I am passionate about the healing powers of food. Today we're going to create my ultimate five bean hearty recipe perfect for this time in winter. So without any further delay, let's get on with the recipe. So the ingredients. Now, a lot of clients say to me, but gee, I really don't have time to cook. And I am going to show you how easy it is to create one of the heartiest recipes you can have over winter very easily in a crock pot. So it cooks whilst you're sleeping overnight. What I've used here is a five bean mix. It's an organic mix of haricot, black turtle, pinto, red kidney and butter beans. But you're quite welcome to use your favorite bean mix. Now, the reason why we use the rich dark variety is really seasonally related and also it has an energetic association with a particular organ in the body and its emotion. So I really love the way this chemistry of food comes together um, seasonally and how the healing properties then serve our well-being. But more about that in my blog. So what I've done here is I've washed the beans, I soak them overnight and then I place them in the crock pot, filled the crock pot three quarters with water and to that I added some shallots, I think there was about six shallots um, that I added and I've diced a potato and added that to it and I've added two vegetable stock cubes which are low salt and then I've just covered it and put it on the lowest setting and let it get on with cooking. Um, so this has been cooking for about eight hours and this is the consistency. It's lovely and rich. I can already taste and sense the richness of the protein, the richness of the potassium and magnesium and also calcium within this particular recipe. So the next stage is, you know, how do we make a gravy? What do we want to add? What spices do we want to add to this to serve the winter months? The ingredients we're going to be using are onions. So I've chopped up my onions, two cloves of garlic. I've got some fresh turmeric here, but if you don't have fresh, that's absolutely fine. You can use the dried powdered version. I've got some fresh ginger really help yourself to, if you're a ginger lover like I am, put as much ginger as you like into it. Here I've chopped up a fresh green chili. That's optional. I quite like a bit of spice kick in my um, soups, so I'm gonna add fresh chili. I've also got a stick of cinnamon just to give it a bit of sweetness and it's very warming as a herb. I've got some cardamom pods and this is the green cardamom. I also have crushed some dark black cardamom and remember this is the pungent flavour cardamom, the darker ones, great for the large intestine and intestinal um, issues and the green cardamom just to give it the balance of the cool to offset the warming herbs. In addition I'm going to be using some pomegranate uh, powder. So these, this is dried pomegranate that's been ground, including the seeds. I love the taste um, of the tang that this provides. And also it's very, very good for the uh, intestines. 
And here I have some dried coriander powder. Now, if you don't have dried coriander, then you're quite welcome to use the whole coriander, okay? So this is a staple um, ingredient that I use in most of my cooking, not all. And lastly, I'm going to be adding some cumin seeds. In addition to make the creamy gravy, I'm going to be adding a, some yogurt. This is goat's yogurt. Now this is optional, so if you're vegan, you can absolutely leave this out. Um, and to that, I'm gonna be adding some uh, Italian uh, tomatoes that have already been crushed. But you're quite welcome to um, use fresh tomatoes if you choose. Right, let's get on with bringing these ingredients together. So to the pan, so it's a stainless steel pan, I've added some ghee. So this is about two tablespoons of ghee that has been warming on the stove, so it's really ready to go. I'm gonna start by adding some of the dried herbs, so that's the whole coriander. There are some black peppercorns in here too. So I'm gonna start with the coriander, uh, a spoonful or a spoon and a half, teaspoon and a half of cumin. You know, I'm so used to cooking without measuring um, that I'm having to think every time I put ingredients into the pan. Um, along with that, I'm just going to let that infuse and cook. Again, the gas is on medium. I never cook on high heat because I don't like to burn my spices. I just like the flavor to come through. You know, the healing properties of food begins from the senses. So seeing the food and the color of food and the texture of food and then the scent. So it's the aroma that the spices release, especially when you're cooking with ghee. It's a wonderful mix of sweet tone, but not sickly sweet, very um, nourishing. I'm just adding my onions, sizzling away. We're just going to allow these to turn a golden colour or soft, either will do. Now if you don't want to use onion, you could use leek. Uh, and if you don't enjoy either, sometimes I use just fresh fennel and I cook with fennel and spices. So there's no real one, I suppose, um, spice mix for this particular recipe. I just go with the flow, but this is one of my favorites. So I'm just cooking it the traditional way as I would Okay, I'm going to add the garlic, the green chili and the ginger. Takes about three or four minutes for the base ingredients to infuse. Oh, smells wonderful. I'm going to add the fresh turmeric. I'm also going to add some dry, so it's about a teaspoon. You could be generous with the turmeric. And then I'm going to add a teaspoon, maybe a teaspoon and a half of dried coriander and a teaspoon of, so it's a heaped teaspoon, 
of the um, pomegranate powder. Oh, just smell that. I wish you could smell this. I'm sure you will once you cook your own. You know, and do leave comments below if you've got any questions. I've just added the coriander, uh, not the coriander, sorry, the um, cardamom, both green and black. I'm just gonna pound the cinnamon a bit before I add that to it. So now you can really smell the different tones coming out and these really appease the five flavors. So subconsciously, it's already started to massage those emotional centers. So it's real culinary wizardry that happens, especially in this kitchen. I'm just going to allow that to cook for about a minute before I add some yogurt. Now the reason why I like to add some yogurt to my saucy recipes in particular is it gives it a lovely creamy texture. And I'm going to be again quite generous with this and add two heaped dessert spoons. Oh, look at those colors. The neat trick, instead of using cream, I have experimented with using the creamy oat milk. Mm, it still doesn't have the, quite the texture that I'm looking for. Um, coconut milk is an option if you want to add that, but look at that texture. So you could just add this to your soup and it's more like, you know, uh, a korma style um, uh, gravy that we have here but I'm gonna add a little bit of tomato to the mixture. Oh, look at those colors come together. I love cooking. It's my creative space. And I'm always using different spices depending on my mood. So there's this real connection with food and how it serves and heals our mood. Look at that wonderful gravy, and I wish you could smell this. Now, normally I'd be in different circumstances. I actually um, run open sessions where, you know, I, I've, I've always been to my clients' homes and done family cookery sessions, or I've invited clients around to the heart of my home for them to experience seasonal cooking. Right, so this sauce is now ready. And what I'm gonna do is get the bean mix and add it to the sauce. And we're gonna watch that color change. Fold it in, just fold it in. Oh, wow. And this, my dears, is the ultimate bean recipe for winter. You can garnish it with coriander, fresh coriander, or any herb of your choice, if you so desire. You may want to add some salt and pepper to it, but for me, it is perfect as it is. There we have it. Oh, 
hearty five bean winter hot pot soup. Enjoy. Well, my lovelies, that's all for today. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you've got any questions about the recipe or you just wanna simply feedback on its deliciousness, please leave a comment below. Now, if you're curious about the healing properties of food, please subscribe. It's absolutely free. And what it does is it notifies you every time I launch a new video normally on a Sunday. So thank you for joining me in the heart of my home. I've certainly enjoyed your company. Until we meet again, wishing you vibrant health as Mother Nature intended. Bye-bye.